All right, so chapter four, scales and chords. I'm gonna run through these quickly. Um, this one I understand uh, pretty thoroughly uh, because I spent forever on it. Uh, just because there's not because it was difficult, but just because I'd get the uh, patch chords lined up correctly. Um, so we have a load bang that basically just said, as soon as you open it up, sends it to this message box to unpack it. So you get your holes, whole tones for the scale and half tones. They're fed into a plus object. Um, so, which is based upon the 50, so this goes into the first inlet, uh, and then the second inlet comes here, they're added together, then you get the 52, uh, so I'm going to put a C, we're going to get all the um, notes from the C, uh, in the C, in that scale. Alright, so now what they have you do is add a second, basically it's almost like a whole other patch, and then now you're able to get one, two, three, four, and you'll be able to see what chords are in that scale. Moving on to Chord Maker 2, or I'm sorry, Chord Maker Quick. Uh, this one, I'm a little unsure of, just the poly seems, I, I'm a little confused on the poly object. Uh, so that just shows it goes directly into there to make the note. Um, so when I hit C, that third note object is changing velocity. Uh, and then when I hit three at a time, now it does the three voicing with the velocity. I'm not 100% on that. I, I looked at the book a little bit more, and I couldn't really put it together. But uh, those are my two for Chapter 4.